Doctors at the Libyan Cardiovascular Institute are now able to treat irregular heart rhythms in a wider range of patients than ever before, including those with complex conditions who previously had few treatment options. Pregnant women and patients with severe heart failure are now able to undergo cardiac ablation, a procedure in which doctors use heat to burn off tissues in the heart that cause irregular heartbeats. So the catheters are basically small tubes like this, and we can move the tips so we have some ability to manipulate. And we can see these on x-ray as well as in the 3D anatomic systems that we were talking about earlier. So this is much larger than a person's heart, but just used as a model. So most of the arrhythmias come from the inside of the heart. So if we open up the heart, uh, you can see all the different chambers of the heart. And typically the catheters go in from veins that are in the legs and go up to the heart. So they come into the heart chamber and we can find out where the heart arrhythmias are coming from. And then we can put it on the right spot and burn. Previously, cardiac ablation was considered too risky for many patients with complex health conditions. Now, thanks to the Libin state-of-the-art electrophysiology lab at Foothills Medical Center, doctors have performed ablations on patients who could not have received this treatment in the past. Last year, 33-year-old Tanya Dunphy was suffering from rapid heart rhythms that did not respond to treatment with medication. Her condition was made more complicated by the fact that she was pregnant at the time. So she'd had a racing heart for a long time and quite a weak heart. And in that circumstance, you are concerned about the blood flow to the developing fetus. So we were able to treat her with some medication that's considered to be safe in pregnancy, but it had no effect on her fast heart rhythm problem. It was incessant. And so we um, considered a treatment that really hasn't been considered an option for people that are pregnant, and that was catheter ablation. You know, I was quite weak with my heart, and needed um, some treatment obviously right away and yeah the medications weren't working nothing was working and then they approached me with the option of doing the ablation and um, I felt fairly confident about it because they do it so often they do one a day I think at the time they had said so um, that gives you some comfort for sure. Ablation is often a more reliable treatment option than medication and defibrillators. However, exposing a fetus to the radiation from traditional X-ray cameras used to guide the catheters make it too risky for use on pregnant patients. But in the last five years, we've been using a technology here. Um, it's a three-dimensional computer mapping system. And we've become very confident using it. And it permits us to know where the catheters are inside the heart without having to use x-rays. And so we were uh, confident enough in the use of this system that we decided to try it on Tanya. And we were able to successfully treat her fast heart rhythm problem and in fact cure it on that day. Yeah, so I felt instantly better as soon as they did it, even while the operation was happening, as soon as they fixed it. It was like an ease was put through my body and I just I felt better. And we used no x-rays at all, so there was no exposure to any radiation at all from the procedure. And uh, within a few weeks, her heart function began to improve. And I understand that she went on to have a normal delivery a few months later. And her heart function has now uh, completely normalized. The stretch of not exposing me to the, to the radiation was just such a, such a gift for me and my child, of course, right? Because I didn't ask for that. I didn't know it was possible. They, they're the ones who searched that out and made that happen for me, so that's pretty incredible.